spend the winter all alone, yeah Cause I don't please fall I don't please fall had to ask a question if you happy girl I'll change your mind anytime in this happy world Let's go and kick it you and me and see what love unfurls Cause girl I bet you love some tugging on them lovely curls Hold up a week up after that believe we started dating I haven't filmed in four or five months This is my first video of 2022 And it feels really really good to get back But it took everything in me to like charge my camera and get ready to film today. It literally took everything in me because I felt weird. I felt awkward. Not that I don't want to do this anymore, but like I just didn't know where to begin. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna start filming and we're gonna see where the day takes us. I haven't really worn makeup this entire time that I took time off of YouTube. I just, I don't know, ever since quarantine and like having to wear a mask, I just don't bother with makeup anymore. I think the last time I really wore foundation, I filmed it and I haven't used it since. And it wasn't even foundation, it was like tinted moisturizer. I am so excited to be back on YouTube. Um, thank you for those who stayed and thank you for those who've recently joined during my four month break. It is really good every once in a while to just like take time off from social media like it's just super healthy and if you're ever going through this point where you feel lost like about yourself like honestly take time off of social media i promise you it'll do you good i'm actually going to use a new product while i get ready and i've never used this before i picked this up yesterday and it's just from makeup by mario it is the master hold brow gel in the clear color curious to see what this would do for my eyebrows just as always i'm just gonna go about filming my day I have a pretty, pretty busy day today, which is unfortunate because it's already 12.30 and I'm like, I should have probably started earlier, but you know what? We're just gonna work with it. Look at how cool this bristle is. I don't know if you guys can see that. But I was watching his video, like as he was talking about this product and he like designed the bristles so that they like separate your brow hairs better. So. Very nice. I like it. It doesn't feel like sticky or heavy either. Today, besides, attempting to film and put on some makeup and feel a little bit more human. I have quite a few ceramics that I want to make, so I'm probably gonna be filming that today and showing you just like a day in the life of what it's like when I create my products. For those of you who are new to my channel or just recently joined on, um, you probably don't know that I actually have a ceramic business that I started during quarantine. So yeah, um, the ceramics have been doing absolutely incredible. And I'm so happy to see those of you who have been, you know, purchasing my products to just love them as well. So thank you so much for all of the support. If you guys are interested in seeing the website, my Etsy shop, or my Instagram page, then I will go ahead and leave that all linked down below. Okay, so this is the eyebrow that I used, the Makeup by Mario. And then I just went over with the Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Brows wand. And I actually really like it. It feels a lot more fuller and it's kind of just like there staying in place. So I really like this. I'm just gonna go ahead and do the other side now. How have you guys been doing? I am curious to know um, if you guys have had a really good end of the year, a good Christmas. I just brushed through them. I naturally actually have like pretty hairy eyebrows, so don't really need too much product there, which is nice. I'm also just kind of letting my hair air dry right now. I'm probably just gonna blow dry it in a little bit. But let's put on a little mascara so we look less nickies on our eyes. And I am just using the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. This honestly has been like the only thing I've been using this entire time. Um, so besides making some ceramics today, I also need to go food shopping because Apparently tomorrow through Thursday, we're supposed to get anywhere between eight to 10 inches of snow. I am not leaving the house. Because of that, I just wanna like get everything that I need. I'm just gonna add a little bit of highlight on my bare skin because I don't have any foundation right now. I'm actually super excited to pick up the foundation later that I have been wanting to try. And right now I'm just using the Hollywood Beauty One by Charlotte Tilbury. This is the shade Spotlight. This is. As if you've been following my channel for quite some time, I've been using this product for almost like three years probably, and it is one of my favorite products. 
And now I just need to do something about this hair. But let's just blow dry it so that I don't have to style it the next couple days. So we're gonna do that right now. Done, <sighs> much better. Okay, now that I'm done with all of that, we are gonna go ahead and head upstairs. So yeah, we're just gonna start making some ceramics. We'll kind of do that for a couple of hours and then we will head on out. So I'm staying in sweats today. Yeah, there is just like no point in wearing anything else besides like <laughs> leggings and a sweater today because it is actually like it's a sunny day and that's super nice but like it's still cold out there and there's snow on the ground so because of that i just haven't really been wanting to wear anything else besides leggings and yes i do have adventure time on in the background adventure time is a very funny show let me tell you soon after the sun is up before the day is over I will be yours. Loose laughter softens up tension in my shoulder. Let's take a walk. Let's go. car is so cold my lips are dry and so are my hands hold on we need to fix this hi guys so it's been probably like two hours now um i took a break from doing some work i probably spent like a good hour and a half working and then i took a break i got a lot done in an hour and a half considering the fact that like a lot of the pieces that i was making today are pieces i've never made before like i was like kind of trying to test them out and they came out good like is a really good feeling because now I know like what I'm doing with those pieces or like how to make them and how much clay I need and etc etc so that was really nice and super successful ah, I just zipped my hair oh my god I yanked my hair now we are about 
to go on an adventure to Trader Joe's. Cause as mentioned earlier, I need food. I might still make a trip to Sephora. I'm still debating. We shall see how I feel after Trader Joe's. Maybe I'll do like a Trader Joe's haul like when I get back. I've never done one on this channel before. So that actually might not be such a bad idea. But yeah, um, hopefully you would have seen by the pieces. I'm sure I filmed little snippets of it while they were being created, but I really, really like the way that those are coming out. So I made a heart plate, which I'm really excited about because usually my plates are just very like circle, like organic. Um, they're not perfect. I never like to make my products like super perfect because then I feel like, I don't know, it just like takes away from like, it's, I don't know, like super cool, like authenticity. Um, and like, that's kind of the aesthetic of my stuff. It's supposed to look handmade. So that is what I did. I made a heart plate and then I made two coasters. I made a square coaster and then a flower coaster because as mentioned, flowers are kind of like my staple design. Um, my name is Iris, so it just makes sense to me and I've always loved to draw and make anything with flowers. And then as mentioned, I made just like a little classic square one. I'm gonna test that one out, see how I like it. But I honestly think I am just gonna like the flower ones much more. And then I did make an oval um, perfume dish plate because um, I actually have a few requests in for those. So I was like, you know what, like what the hey, like let's start making those. <laughs> Can you guys see me? <laughs> I'm filming on my phone, so this is quite awkward. But yeah, I'm really, really excited to see how some of those pieces came out. Um, as mentioned, I made about five, so I'm just taking a little break now, and then I'm probably just gonna go home, make something to eat, and then continue making them, and then probably just go to the gym tonight. That's all I'm really gonna do. I'm so excited because I've never done a like grocery haul on my channel before. How exciting. Okay, catch you guys in a little bit. Okay, so let me show you guys what I got from Trader Joe's today. You ever like, okay, you know when you go into Target and you don't need anything, but you go in and you're like, Target will tell me what I need? That's kind of what happened at Trader Joe's today. I knew what I wanted to make for dinner today, which was Impossible Burgers. I just walked out with all these other things. Some of them I needed, and then some of them I didn't, but I walked out with them anyway. First thing on the list, I picked up some brioche buns for the burgers. Um, I usually just go for regular burger buns, but these sounded really, really good. So, and they looked good. Like, look at those buns. Sweet plantain chips. This is like a staple for me actually um, because I love sweet plantain chips. Eggs because I actually just ran out. Some are just tomatoes on the vine. I eat a lot of tomatoes, so this is actually like a necessity for me. Sharp cheddar cheese because I thought this would be good with the burger. Bananas. Needed some of those. I eat maybe like two to three bananas a day. It's crazy, but that's just how many bananas a day I eat. So I actually have a pack over here and then I have some that are frozen as well for like shakes. So yeah, my house is always stacked of bananas. These are these protein bars that I usually have. I actually have a ton of these in my fridge and I just grabbed a couple more, but these are from the brand Barbells. Um, these are freaking delicious. They literally taste like candy bars. And my favorite one is the cookies and cream one. So I just got two more of those. These are literally my favorite because they have 20 grams of protein, which is crazy if you're like trying to like up your protein, um, like I am, and they have no added sugar as well. So yeah, they're like so far my favorite protein bars I've ever had. So if you haven't tried that one yet, go and try it because it is so delicious. An onion, I also have a red onion in the fridge. A lot of the veggies that I didn't pick up, like I already have in the fridge. So I just picked up vegetables that I didn't have. Avocado, cause I love avocado. English cucumbers. And then I also picked up some baby broccoli because regular broccoli is disgusting and I love baby broccoli. Raspberries, I still do have blueberries. I just ran out of raspberries. So I got some of those. And then I also got some like little sweet cherry tomatoes. I eat a lot of tomatoes. Um, some Italian dry salami because this is literally delicious. And it's just like a nice little snack. Like if I just want a little piece of meat or something, like I'll just from the fridge and then keep it walking. My dogs also like um, salami. So I usually get the reduced sodium one just cause it's a little bit healthier. So this I saw and I got really excited. I had no idea that this existed. If I'm being completely honest, I usually don't really go into the frozen section just cause I like preparing my food like from scratch most of the time. 
but sometimes it's just nice to have like a few of those like ready to make meals and when I saw this, I literally almost went weak in the knees because mac and cheese is my literal weakness. My mouth is salivating just thinking about how much I love mac and cheese. French onion, macaroni, and cheese. It has Swiss and cheddar cheese, croutons, and roasted onions. That sounds so good. I also got some burrata for the tomatoes because I love having like that as a snack together. That just tastes so good. Impossible meat because they sell it at Trader Joe's now, which is so exciting. I really like the impossible chicken nuggets as well. I don't really like regular chicken nuggets. I think regular chicken nuggets kind of freak me out. So if I can have it in the impossible form, I will. I also picked up this, which is new. This is the cashew and pepper pasta sauce. This is like literally so exciting because this is probably my favorite pasta ever to get like at a restaurant. So I am gonna have to try that probably tomorrow or the next day. I really wanna see how this is. As I was grabbing it, like um, one of the cashiers actually made a comment about it and was like, that is literally the best sauce here. So I'm excited to see how that tastes to have with that like on my pasta. Then I just picked up some extra lean ground beef. This is 96% lean, 4% fat. This is also really good because I can make little burgers with this or add this in like lasagna or I can share it with my dogs because my dogs do like to eat regular meat as well. Can you imagine living your entire life eating brown pebbles? No. So yeah, I do feed my dogs regular food as well. Speaking of my dogs, just pick them up some chicken breasts. I usually like to boil that for them and they really like to eat it. And then I just got some drumsticks because I'm thinking over the weekend, I'll probably wanna make like, I don't know, like some wings or something. So I thought that this would be really good. Like some barbecue wings, that sounds so good. And yeah, that's everything that I picked up at Trader Joe's today. Did I need all of it? Kind of. Now I'm actually looking at this and I'm like, yeah, this will last me the entire week. So that's great. Now it's time to put all of this away. Hope you enjoyed my Trader Joe haul. Oh, this makes me so happy. Just so you guys understand like how cold it is outside, like look at this scary view from my kitchen window. Guys, I really do think that this video is long enough and my camera battery is about to die any second now. So I think I am gonna end the video here. I hope that you guys enjoyed spending some time with me while I made some ceramics and a little surprise grocery haul. Who knew I was gonna do that today? So happy that I am filming again and I hope that you guys are too. It feels really good to be back. And although this video was kind of all over the place, like it just feels good to like break out of that shell again and start filming again. So thank you so much if you watched all the way to the end. As always, if you are new to my channel, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. That always helps my channel out so much. Let me know in the comments down below what kind of things you would like to see this year on my channel. I'm always so curious to see like what you guys are here for, whether it is my makeup videos, my kind of beauty and style content, my business content, or just like every day in the life. As mentioned last year, especially during quarantine, I kind of just like switched everything over to like a day in the life kind of style videos. So I hope that you guys still enjoy those. And yeah, of course, as always, oh, it scared me. It's just my tripod thing on the table and I really thought that was like a something else. Anyways, I've digressed. As always, thank you guys again so much for watching and I will catch you again in the next one. Bye. Spend the winter all alone, yeah Cause I don't